The next measurement tool that I'm going to speak a little bit about is the function generator tool. It's the second icon down from the top on the right hand side of the screen. So you click it and you bring it out. Once again, it works the same exact way as it would in real life, which is very nice. So when you double click on it, you can select whether you want a sine wave, a square wave, etc. You can also control the frequency, the duty cycle, the amplitude, and the offset. The next tool I'll go into is the oscilloscope. So for this, I'm going to use an example. So when you click on it, this is what the oscilloscope menu looks like. Um, I'll just give you an example of what it looks like when it's running. So I have an RLC circuit here that I made beforehand. And I'm going to measure the voltage across the inductor. So I'm going to use both my channels A and B for this. I hook one channel up, the positive end, on the one side of the inductor and the positive end on the other. And I'll take my negatives both to ground. Now when I turn my circuit on, and I double click on this, you can see what the graph looks like a little bit, but I should probably blow this up a little bit. So I'll, there we go, I'll change the scale a little bit, and now you can see a nice graph. And once again, this is the underdamped circuit, and you can see how when the uh, signal voltage turns on and off, you can see how the uh, graph reacts.